If you ever experience when you got a broken heart, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to eat. You don't. You want don't want to fucking shit. Somebody. You don't want to fucking do nothing. Yeah. Somebody. All you do. All you want to do is you want that pain to subside. That pain is deep inside your soul. Yeah, man. That it's ain't a, no pain. I wish on anybody. Let me say something, man. It's so bad, man. Somebody could come up to you, smack the taste out of you, fall on the ground. And they piss on you and you let them do it. Sometimes you're going to get your heart stomped on. It is not just an emotional and psychological process. It is a very physical process. You have decided to kill something that is a part of you in some way. If it could be avoided, that would be best. But for some reason, you have come to that situation where this, is, this has to happen. To make yourself peaceful and joyful will become an extremely hard thing to do in your life. You get your heart broken, it's like it ruins your self-esteem. You're like, that fucking bitch! You know what I'm saying? But you gotta understand this, this happens to everybody, everybody. Even the most richest, best looking people, it happens to them too, man. Yeah. Not just you, it happens to everybody, everybody. Everybody, everybody, not just you. So this is how you get through it, man. You just gotta go on. You just gotta move on, man. Do everything that you usually do. Yeah. But go out there and meet people. You're gonna have to get out. You're gonna have to meet new people. Man. Yeah. Your life shouldn't. If if, the, if that person left you, your life shouldn't evolve around that one person anymore. Just move on. You gotta create your own life, man. Your existence has been nurtured by making a bond a partnership or a bondage, depending upon how you conducted this, to make yourself feel whole in some way. Most partnerships of this nature are made because by yourself you would feel insufficient, incomplete, but that's not how life is. This is a complete life process by itself. My friend, you need to make yourself vulnerable. You need to fall down. You need to get stupid in love. Let it happen to you. Let it happen to you. Go get hurt too. Because even though you might get hurt, you experienced it. Most people never experience love. Regardless of what caused your broken heart, man, you got to understand something. Life, life goes on, man. It's better to have loved and lost than to have never allowed yourself to love. And, you know, with that being said, and, uh, you know what, it'd probably just be easier if I told you what I was going through. I was going through a breakup, and something that probably most of us will experience in our life. Um, hopefully you guys don't, because it's not usually the best experience, but, well, actually, maybe, maybe I could give a different spin on to it, because the whole point of this video is, it turns out that it was a good experience. Now, that is something that I never thought I would say a month ago. I mean, the truth is, I mean, I wish I could tell you that I was this rock, that I was, you know, things just bounce off me like Superman, but that's just not the case. This thing, I mean, it hurt. It really, <laughs> it still hurts. I mean, um, but it hurts in a different way now. And... I mean, there was days where I just didn't want to get out of bed. I mean, that's the truth. I mean, it really, it, it knocked me down. But the thing I never thought I would say a month ago is that the person who I became, I mean, the person who walked into this that I was just a month ago is not the same person that I am now. And that's a good thing. The person who, you know, walked out of that storm, I mean... I could have never became that person if I didn't go through this. And that's something I am, I'm really thankful for. Um, I never thought I would be saying that I'd be thankful for the, you know, this breakup. Because, God, it hurt. It really did. But I am. And that's, you know, that's something that it's going to be hard for you guys to, I guess, think about when you're going through it. I mean, it's something that I never thought, you know, when I was going through it. But if you're able to survive, if you're able to get through that storm, like I said, if you just pull out that chair 
and just say, you know what, I'm going to sit here and no matter how long it takes, I'm going to make it, you know. If you get into that mindset, when you do walk out of the storm, um, you're going to be thankful for the storm. When you're going through pain, you know, and it's going to be hard for you guys to look at it, I, I know that. It feels like you're not going to be able to make it, you will. Because if you're truly, if what you set out for whatever dream, whatever goal you set out, if it's true, if it's, you know, deep down, this is who you are, and it's just not all talk, and everyone talks a good game, but if deep down, this is something that you feel like you have to do, that you, I mean, what you want out of life, you know, everyone says that they want to be successful, but few people, you know, it really, you know, it deep down, all the way down to the bones, that they truly, you know, they really want to be successful. They really want to, well, they really want to change the world. If deep down, that is something that you mean when you say it, there is no storm that can knock you off course. There may be some storms that will, you know, you may get bumpy, <laughs> Now, you might have to write it out, but if you truly have made the, de made the decision that, you know, I'm going to make it, no matter what, then embrace the storms. You know, it's not going to be easy. And like I said from the first one, it's life will throw everything and anything at you. But if you, if you made the decision that, hey, this is what I want, and there's nothing that's going to stop me, you'll make it through the storm. And you know what? If the storm comes and it knocks you off and you can't get out, if you you know, it just really just knocks you off course and you really are just a mess afterwards and you never are able to rebound from that, then I think you really need to start to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, whatever goal, whatever dream you, I guess, started off with, does that really mean something to you? And that's not a bad thing, you know. There's some times when life hits you and you can't get back up. And that's not to say that you don't have it in you to make it. No, no. What that's telling you is, does, you know, whatever goal, whatever dream, whatever thing you're trying to accomplish, does that really mean something to you? You know, a lot of people say, hey, I'm doing it for, you know, my family. Hey, I'm doing it for this. Hey, I'm doing it for that. But... A lot of people say those things because it sounds good. You know, everyone wants to say, hey, I'm doing it for my family. But there's sometimes, you know, maybe that's just, it sounds good. And that's not to say that you can't be doing it for your family. Don't get me wrong here. But I have a feeling that, you know, that seems to be, too many people seem to say that. And I, I find that strange. You know, I don't really buy into that. I think everyone says that they're doing it for someone, they're doing it for this or that. Um, just because it sounds nice, if that makes any sense, you know. Whatever you're doing, whatever your goal, whatever your dream is, it has to move you. You know, it has to be something that's so powerful that nothing, nothing could stop you. And it's something that, you don't really know if it is the right thing until you start to go through things. I get laughed, you know, I've been laughed at for this dream that I have, you know, and this goal that I'm trying to accomplish. A lot of people think that I can't do this because they don't see it. And I, you know, I'm, it's hard for me to show them because I'm not there yet. Um, but I'm trying to do something very, very big with my life many ways I'm trying to you know it's it's almost kind of funny for me to even say it I, I mean I won't lie but I'm trying to change the world <laughs> it's funny to say that because you know it's such a large it's crazy I mean it really is but I'm not gonna stop because deep down I'm starting to you know I'm starting to believe that I think I just can't. So when you find, when you find what means something to you, and when things start to happen, when life starts to throw things at you, 
and you're able to just keep on going, you know, when life hits you and you just keep on moving forward, even when you don't want to, then then you found out what your life's true calling is. Because when life <laughs> when life can't stop you, nothing can stop you. With that being said, guys, I think that's a good way to end this one.